Hey everyone, Warix here. So we're back with more here talent trees. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt you saw in my Druid video. I'm back recording these, sue me. Um, but today we're gonna be looking at the Hunter one for Beast Mastery and Survival Hunters and the Hero Talent Trees, the Pack Leader. Now I've been playing Hunter pretty off and on throughout this expansion. I'm playing a lot of it in the late season two and pretty much all through season three. Uh, I've been playing mostly survival, but I tried to learn some MM for a little while. Um, and then went back to survival just because I enjoy survival quite a bit. I'm one of the guys that actually likes survival the way that it is. Um, and I think it's finally starting to find a good identity. Uh, but uh, I'm curious to see what this one is. This is our first look at a survival hunter tree and it's sharing with Beast Mastery Hunter, which makes me a little nervous because the specs fundamentally want very different things. So I'm curious to see how they're going to try and tie this together. Now, uh, for those of you that haven't seen any of these videos, what I do is these are basically first impressions. I've been busy hanging out with my son um, i was doing stuff with my uh, guild event that we i was helping run so i haven't really gotten a chance to read and do a lot of research on these so what i'm doing in these videos is i'm basically looking at these mostly for the first time and just doing initial impressions on it now as i go back and research and do more information i'll update some things in the comments but um you know, I'm kind of giving initial impressions and initial feedback, and then I'm going to be curious to see what Blizzard does with these as we start to move into the war within Alphas. Uh, Hunter is a class that I am probably going to be, at the very least, have leveled, but it may not be. It's not going to be my main, because unless the Hunter that we have quits the game, which I don't see that happening. Uh, but it's a class that I have always kind of... I've been keeping leveled really since BFA when I level boosted a Hunter. Um, and been kind of just keeping up with it as much as humanly possible. So uh, I'll be curious to see what this what this tree does. So for those of you that haven't seen one of mine before, I do the top node, go down the left side with these three, down the middle, down the right, and then we look at the bottom node itself. Um, now to preface this, I will say that I did see uh, Max, Liquid's Guildmaster, and one of the biggest content creators in the WoW space say that he was very disappointed in this tree. So I'm not going into this with high hopes. Uh, hopefully we don't get a Druid of the Claw part two. If you've seen that video, I'll link it up there, up there uh, in the corner here. Uh, you'll know that I was very disappointed with that for Guardian and Frail Druids. So I'm hoping that we're not getting uh, part two of this with Hunter. All right, so let's start at the top. Vicious Hunt, Kill Command prepares you to viciously attack in coordination with your pet, dealing additional physical damage with your next Kill Command. So Vicious Hunt basically makes Kill Command more powerful when you, when it procs, you're like, you use a kill command, it procs, your next kill command is going to do even more damage. Sure. Kill command, big part of both specs. So for BM Hunter, it's one of the highest percentages of your damage. Generally, if I recall correctly, it's been a while since you played BM, so tell me if I'm wrong. Um, it's for survival, obviously, it's your main focus regenerator or focus regen tool. Uh, and you with uh, Pheromone Bomb, you are getting constant resets on that. So there is going to be a chance that you can proc this a lot. So not a bad idea. Uh, I think Kill Command, pretty universal ability between the two, so not a bad choice to uh, be the focus of this spec. Uh, particularly when you think about the flavor of Survival Hunter. Survival Hunter, you're very much working in tandem with your pet to try and do the most damage. Beast Mastery, you are a master of the animals. So there is that theme and flavor is there. Pack Coordination. Attacking with Vision Hunt and Structure Pack to Strike with their next basic attack along your alongside your next barb strike and then your two main spenders for survival raptor or mongoose bite uh for survival so like is this like claws thing or what slap whatever it is that they're called like the the ability damage that you do do you get it for free without focus spending like i have a lot of questions uh, with how this is going to interact with pet and pet focus and things like that and cooldowns of, of the pet abilities all that stuff Den Recovery. Aspect of the Turtle, Survival of the Fittest, and Men Pet. Heal the target for 20% of maximum health over 4 seconds. Duration uh, increased by 1 second when healing a target under 50% maximum health. So, you get low, you turtle, you're going to get a 20% heal for 5 seconds. But is it... Is it so it's always going to do 20%. So if you're at 1%, you're going to go to 21%. That doesn't save you. That doesn't do anything. 20% of maximum health you're going to want to use or does it go like 25% when you get that extra one second this this doesn't really feel good and for survival in particular you don't mend pet because if your pet's taking damage 
then you're probably taking damage and you just exhilarate, which heals your pet to full and then gives you the hot and the heal over time. This feels, and honestly the same for BM, like you don't mend pet outside of, like very rarely do you mend pet in group content. And so yeah, so you get survival of the fittest and aspect of the turtle has a heal component to it, but aspect of the turtle, if you're using it, it's because you're pre-cheesing a mechanic. So the heal is wasted. Survival of the fittest, you're usually using it before damage goes out to reduce the amount of damage that you take. I don't, this is, this is bad. I don't, I don't think this is good at all because it kind of misses the purpose of what both of these abilities are, so, like what these abilities are meant to do. All right. First choice node, covering fire, kill command increases the duration of beast cleave by one second for uh, beast mastery. Um, great. Uh, what if you don't take beast cleave? What, what's like, if you're a single target situations, you don't take beast cleave. Like you're fighting Volkarash, you don't, what do you need beast cleave for? You can take that talent point and put it somewhere else to get more damage. Like if he gave you beast cleave for, a sec for like one second, sure. But this, this is an A, like, these are two AOE choice nodes that, oh my god, oh my god, this is so bad, so start. Survival, wide firebomb reduces the cooldown of carver butchery by two seconds, that's actually pretty good. Um, right now there's no way, like, butchery is the main thing that you're taking, carve, I haven't seen people play carve at all this expansion. So butchery, thinking it from that perspective, has three charges and a nine second cooldown, I think it's hasted. I don't, I'm not on my hunter right now. Um, so getting more charges of carver butchery, which then also in turn reduces the cooldown of your wildfire bomb. Very nice synergy, but again, only an AOE. Multi shot increases the damage of your next multi shot by 25%. I, why? Again, multi shot isn't the point of multi shot, isn't its damage in Beast Mastery. The point of multi shot is to enable Beast Cleave and Kill Cleave. So like making multi-shot do more damage is like the weakest option on the table. Like make multi-shot increase the duration of beast cleave by like, oh my God, it's dumb. Carve and butcher increase the damage of your next carve and butcher by 25%. That's, that's okay for survival. I think covering fire for survival is way better because then you're playing into some really nice cooldown usage and cooldown reduction involving both specs. So that's like, I think for survival, covering fire is really good. Scattered prey, this is garbage. And covering fire for beast mastery is garbage. Holy shit, this tree is not off to a good start. Howl of the pack, your basic, your pet's basic attack, basic attack critical strikes increase your critical strike damage by five percent up to six seconds, stacking three times. So you get fifteen percent potentially in a six second window. Now every time do you get a stack? Does it refresh the duration, or does it work like mongoose fury? where you just got to get to five in a 15 second window. And every time you get a new stack, it doesn't re refresh. Like if that's the case, then this is garbage. If it refreshes the duration because it's a short, short duration at six seconds, then it might be okay. But then you're also, I mean, survival hunter likes crit now. So like it, your pet scales off of your crit strike chance. So that's not so bad. Beast mastery is a combination of crit haste and mastery. Uh, so kind of okay like this is fine tireless hunt aspect of the cheetah now increases movement speed by 15 percent for another eight seconds i like that i like that a lot um i think that's a pretty good node um but it's more quality of life outside of combat like there's not very many situations where you need like 20 seconds of extra movement speed particularly when you can disengage and cover a lot of ground and then you get the movement speed with post haste like this is really good for worlding world content i think for folks that are doing like delves or whatever the case may be this might be really good and it's gonna be very good for leveling because my assumption is that going to be that you get i mean eventually you're going to get all of these so if you go doom 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 you know, by three levels in, you're going to get a longer aspect of the cheetah, which I think would be a good thing for leveling. Otherwise, I think you're going to take cornered prey because getting an extra five yards of range is like massive for both specs. Like BM, you go from 40 to 45. 
Uh, with lunge, you get, I think it's an eight yard range, and now all of a sudden you're getting a 13 yard range, which puts you right out there next to the Ret Paladins as being almost mid-range damage dealers. So I think Cornered Prey is just gonna be taken all the time once you're done leveling, because like getting that extra five yards is pretty fucking massive. Call the herd. Kill shot deals an additional 30% damage over five seconds and increases the bleed damage you and your pet deal to your target by 25%. Um, so for bleed damage in survival, that's Bloodseeker, which leaves a bleed on when you kill command a target. Um, and there's also with Shrapnel Bomb, there's a bleed that gets on there when you kill command a target. So uh, it makes those little bleeds a little bit more powerful. That's not a big damage boost. And then for Beastmaster, that's Barb Shot. Um, the big thing about this is I hate that it procs off kill shots, so it's only going to be effective inside of the execute window. Uh, for Beast Mastery in particular, that's the only time really they get it because they don't really take any talents that give them an automatic kill shot. Uh, I don't think they take death blow in any build that I've seen, uh, mainly because their kill shot just doesn't really do a lot of damage. Uh, for survival, they obviously can run coordinated assault where you get a kill shot during the cooldown window, so that obviously has a little bit more value every two minutes. And kill shot for survival hunter legitimately hits pretty hard, so it's not bad at all. Uh, I think it's fine. Uh, I wish that again for Beast Master they do something a little bit more interesting, but for survival this is okay. Wild attacks: every third pet basic attack is guaranteed crit and further damage, with damage further increased by crit strike chance. Okay, so they're making like this right here going to be a little bit more consistent once you take this right here. Kind of dumb, especially considering the pathing. This this is kind of stupid. Frenzy Terror, your pet's basic attack has a 20% chance to reset the cooldown of Kill Command and cause Kill Command to strike a second time at 30% of normal damage. Cool. Uh, you're already getting a 25% chance for Kill Command to re reset itself as survival, so now you're getting even more potential Kill Commands, which is going to mean even more uh, focus, which means you can dump it even more into things like Raptor Strike. My sense, though, just looking at this on the surface, is that this type of talent tree is going to kind of force you out of mongoose bite because you're going to struggle mightily to keep to get an effective mongoose fury window because you're going to be having to prioritize your kill command is like a main thing so you could also over over uh, resource yourself through focus because if you're getting like this extra vicious hunt um kill command and then you get frenzied tear um and you want to try to get those extra that extra damage like that's going to be more valuable potentially an overall damage uh, depending on how hard kill command hits i'd have to go take a look at all the tooltips i don't memorize this stuff but like does that hit harder than a full stack mongoose fury like a five stack mongoose fury like those are the questions that we have to ask so this might push you out of mongoose bite and run you into a raptor strike where tip of the spear is very good um but there's less incentive for you to try and just full hard focus on mongoose bite build and, and instead run with um, a kill command raptor strike build so eh. and for I mean for beast mastery like they tend to have a pretty good amount of focus anyways because they get a lot of regen passively and through additional haste because they like obviously to stack haste and they get it through barb shot so this is actually is like the one choice node or the one node on here that I actually think is pretty good for BM as well um, at coordination is fine as well but yeah all right, Beast Mastery Furious Assault. Consuming Frenzied Tear has a 50% chance to re reset the cooldown of Barb Shot and deal 30% additional damage. So when you get this, you then can get uh, a chance to get another free Barb Shot charge. Between that, uh, Wild Call um, and just the natural CDR, hasted CDR uh, of Barb Shot's charge, like you're gonna have a lot of Barb Shot, like which means maintaining Frenzy should be really easy. Everything that kind of sputters off of barb shot is going to be really easy to maintain which kind of removes like the one good tracking element and adds in these other ones that are complex and feel underwhelming uh, so i'm not the biggest fan of this um, but in reality because beast mastery hunter doesn't have a big kit like there's only so many things that you can reset for because cobra shot you're it's just a straight up no cd 35 charge you know, kill command has a, a cooldown, but you can grab two charges of it. And there's also all sorts of reset possibilities already built into this tree. So if you have to pick an ability, like you can't make it, I uh, really can't make it bestial wrath or call of the wild. So you kind of have no other choice, but to make it barb shot, which sure. 
Um, and then getting free mon see now for again for survival, getting a free Raptor Strike or Mongoose Bite that does additional 30% damage is really good. Now here's all of a sudden Mongoose Bite might be incentivized because if you can get a free Mongoose Bite at five stacks that does 30% additional damage, that is going to fucking truck. So again, for survival, I think this is actually not bad. For Beast Mastery, I am less excited about it. Beast of Opportunity. Beast your wrath calls on the pack, summon a pet from your stable for six seconds. And same thing for coordinated assault. So cool, you get a third pet for Bestial Wrath, uh, for Beast Your Wrath, which is up every 45 seconds. So for Beast Mastery, that's pretty good because you have it up a lot. And if there's CDR in anything, like a tier set or something like that, like there was in season two, uh, or is it season three, one of the ones that has the Beast Your Wrath CDR in it, um, then you're going to have this quite a bit. So this is a decent little chunk of damage for Beast Mastery, which is good. Survival, you're going to get this every two minutes. And that's very underwhelming. I would probably take Furious Assault on uh, survival all the time, regardless of situation, and then take Beast of Opportunity on Beast Mastery, and I don't think that's the intention Blizzard wants. Finally, Pack Assault. Vicious Hunt and Pack Coordination now stack. Okay, so you're talking... So Pack Coordination here and this, so when you get your kill command, you're also going to get this here. Okay, sure. Um, and are always active during... Call of the Wild. Okay, so you get both these benefits during your cooldown window, so it makes your cooldowns much more powerful. Um, sure. Um, so I'm going to grade this based on specs. I actually think for survival, this one isn't bad. It's not great. I'm not excited about it, but it's not bad. I'd give it like a six. There's a lot of things that need to be fixed. Like this, this choice note is just horrifically ugly because it's like, Here's AOE option versus an AOE option. Like, this feels like someone fucked up the placement. Uh, for Beast Mastery, I'm so sorry, guys. You got hosed hard with this. Like, you might as well just go Dark Ranger and be content with having a Mantry, because this one is bad. I think it's like a one. And mainly it's because, like, Frenzy Tear might actually be decent, and same with Beast of Opportunity. But beyond that, there's not really anything in this tree, uh, Cornered Prey. Like, those are the only three talent nodes in here that I think are actually any good for Beast Mastery. The rest of this is just a hot pile of garbage. I mean, I don't know who developed this, but they clearly don't understand what makes Beast Mastery Hunter tick and what makes Beast Mastery's Under the Hood um, worth investing in because they did not hit it here. When you add in the fact that they didn't do any Wailing Arrow synergies in Dark Ranger when the fucking Sylvanas Legendary was Wailing Arrow, like, the whoever's doing these for Hunter is not off to a good start, guys. Like, you really need to sit down and rethink this and think about it hard before you release Marksmanship and Survival because there's, a, there's some decent overlap in those two specs, but if you're not hitting on it, it better have some kill shot. Definitely some kill shot stuff. But it needs to have something else with aim shot and mongoose bite and raptor strike. Some synergies there that make it interesting. Otherwise, like again, hunters are going to be sitting there just sad because they don't have any interesting talent trees. Like Dark Ranger is like fine. I would give that one like a six out of ten, five out of ten. This one I'm going to give survival six out of ten. But Beast Mastery is like a one. This thing is hot garbage. Like needs God level bad. So. Man, I feel bad for you, Beast Mastery Hunters. Both of your trees are kind of mad for your spec because it feels like someone doesn't understand exactly what makes your spec tick and what makes it interesting. And it's just trying to pigeonhole you into these cool ideas that they had for marksmanship and survival. I hate that feeling because Feral Drow is in the same boat. So anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Another disappointing tree. I hate that, but it is what it is. So until the next video, I hope you all stay safe. I hope you're enjoying yourself. If you're having fun, you keep on gaming and I'll see you all in the next video.